Hi, my name is Darth Megbemi from ERM Investment Managers, and I'll be taking you through the macroeconomic and financial market events for October 2021. So, headline inflation sustained a downward trend in September for the sixth consecutive month, declining by 38 basis points to 16.63%. Full inflation was the key driver as it declined 37 basis points, further to 19.57%, while core inflation rose 33 basis points to 13.74%. The decline in full inflation was on the back of base effects and the ongoing harvest season, while expansion in core inflation was driven by price increases across all sub-indices in combination with FX liquidity constraints. The Purchasing Managers Index improved to 54.1 in October from 52.3 in September, indicating a 16th successive monthly expansion in private sector activities. Production outputs, new orders and buying activity rose sharply in October, while firms reduced inventory backlogs for the 17th month in a row. On the price front, purchase costs continue to rise at a record rate, implied by higher purchase costs for raw materials and transportation, in combination with unfavorable exchange rate movements. In October, the equities market recorded yet another positive performance with a return of 4.52%, while year-to-day return also printed positive at 4.39%. Performance over the month was mainly driven by bullish sentiment on the back of strong Q3 earnings. Local investors continue to dominate market activity, while foreign portfolio investors remain on the sidelines constrained by FX illiquidity. On a sectorial basis, all submedicies recorded gains, with the banking, oil and gas, and industrial sectors in the lead, while insurance and consumer goods also closed positive. At the stock level, Etel, Boa Cement, Wapco, FBNH, and Zenith Bank led overall gains. The fixed income market was characterized by mixed sentiments in the month of October, although markets closed on a slightly bearish note. Financial system liquidity tightened, reflecting a 61 basis points and 49 basis points decline in the open buyback and overnight rates to 12.79% and 13.3%. At the Treasury bills auctions during the month, stop rates on the 91 and 182 day bills remained fixed at 2.5% and 3.5%, while the 364 day paper declined by 51 basis points to 6.99%. In a contrasting move, Yields in the secondary markets rose by an average of 12 basis points, supported by a rise in the yield of the 91 and 182 day maturities. FGM bond yields at the secondary market also rose marginally by 8 basis points to 11.28%, spurred by sell offs at the short end of the curve. At the monthly bond auction, average stop rates across maturities on offer rose by 15 basis points, whilst the stop rates on the 2050 bonds rose by 20 basis points to 13.2%. The debt management office continued to capitalize on strong demand and oversold by 28.5% as the FGN 2028 and the FGN 2036 bonds were replaced by the FGN 2026 and the FGN 2037 bonds. Overall, appetite for equities was commendable over the month as investors continued to position in attractive names ahead of full year 2021 results. With the all share index approaching a five year high point, some resistance through profit taking might be expected in the coming weeks as institutional investors take a cue from the direction of fixed income yields. In the fixed income markets, activity in the near term is expected to be driven by lower liquidity levels, primary auction stop rates, and fiscal deficit expectations for 2022. The recently announced FGS Cook Insurance is also expected to provide a boost to the supply picture, mopping up some liquidity in the markets. On the back of lower liquidity levels amidst decent supply, our expectations remain for the market to have a bearish bias, with yields remaining range bound, barring any actions mediated by the Central Bank of Nigeria. So a quick recap of what we've discussed so far. Inflation maintained a downward trend for the sixth consecutive month. PMI readings indicated continuous expansion of private market activities. The equities market recorded yet another positive performance in October. And there was a marginal improvement of yields in the fixed income markets. I hope you found this insightful. Should you have any further questions or inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact your relationship managers or our customer care representatives. Remember, remain invested in your tomorrow.